I was reading an article about the fall of Rome and what's to come. So, this is just a little prophecy I'm going to give you. I've been called obscenities for 33 years. And people lay that blame on my husband. And the thing about my husband is, you still run back to that fucking cross, but then you turn around and renounce it. Some people can't be saved. So here's the prophecy. There was a certain pope that was banished to a castle called Gaeta Castle. That's capital G A E T A. It was called the Dai Gaeta Castle. And this is the thing about the papacy. In every papacy election, they divide the bride of Christ from Christ. So, this is the final incarnation. They tried to divide my husband and I. And this is the prophecy. Rome will fall. You can put that in all caps. Rome will fall. And it will fall very expediently. You shouldn't speak evil about things you don't understand. And that's the prophecy. Today's day is September 2nd, 2014. On this day, Cleopatra announced that her son and Jesus Christ's son would be the supreme ruler, and they were crucified for it, and their unborn son was molested, crucified, had his genitals bit off by King Herod, and eaten. And they don't talk about that in the Bible because Rome changed it, because they're cowards. Now, if you can see the magnitude of this prophecy, then you'll understand why Rome and the Eastern Orthodox faith must fall. We united them, and they turned and stabbed us in the back. They murdered Jesus, who's Logan Marshall Green, and he was resurrected. Then they bore false witness. Then, last year in Sydney, Australia, in October, I was murdered too, with their little railgun incident. And that was the time the Windsors, on October 6th, had their Phoenix initiation ceremony. And I don't wear this shirt and these videos for nothing. I was brought back too. So now, there really is an immaculate conception. And Rome will fall 